it has been a very long day. I thought it would be fun to go over the books I bought this weekend because I went to two different bookstores, um, one new, one used, to find some new books for a couple different things, um, fiction and non-fiction, and I thought it'd be fun to share what I found because I'm very excited about it, and I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. So without further ado, I'm uh, not going to bury the lead here. This is the one I'm most excited about. Um, it's called the Jokan Sagas, and it is, well, okay, I have to read this description to you because anybody that knows me um, knows that this is just right up my alley. Uh, listen to this. Drawing upon his Cree and Scandinavian roots, Harold R. Johnson merges myth, fantasy, and history in this epic saga of exploration and adventure. While sorting through the possessions of his recently deceased neighbor, Harold Johnson discovers an old, handwritten manuscript containing epic stories composed in obscure Swedish dialect. Together, they form the Bjorken sagas. There's no way I'm pronouncing that right. You know when you, like, have seen something written so many times, you're like, oh yeah, I know how to pronounce this. <laughs> The first saga tells of three Jorkans, led by Juha the Storyteller, who set out from their valley to discover what lies beyond its borders. Their quest brings them into contact with the devious story trader Anthony de Marchand, a group of gun-toting aliens in search of heaven, and an ethereal medicine woman named Lily. In the second saga, Juha is called upon to protect his people from invaders bent on stealing the secrets contained within the valley's sacred trees. This third saga chronicles the journey of Lily as she travels across the universe to bring aid to Janha and the Bajorkans, who face their deadliest enemy yet. The Bajorkan saga is a bold, innovative fusion of narrative traditions set in an enchanted world of heroic storytellers, shrieking Valkyries, and fire-breathing dragons. How cool is that? I cannot believe I just, like, randomly found this, and... It, it ticks so many boxes for me, and I'm so excited to read it. Um, I'm really curious, too, because the author, the back, it says, Harold R. Johnson is the author of five works of fiction and five works of nonfiction, including Firewater, How Alcohol is Killing My People and Yours, which was a finalist for the Governor General's Literary Award for nonfiction. Born and raised in northern Saskatchewan to a Swedish father and a Cree mother, Johnson served in the Canadian Navy and has been a miner, logger, mechanic, trapper, fisherman, tree planter, and heavy equipment operator. A graduate of Harvard Law School, he managed a private practice for several years before becoming a Crown Prosecutor. Johnson is a member, member sorry, of the Montreal Lake Cree Nation. He is now retired from the practice of law and writes full-time. Like, I can't like I've heard of the guy I didn't realize he wrote uh fiction um and I'm actually really excited to read a lot of his non-fiction as well it's been on my to read list for years so this is just really exciting um <laughs> sorry this is the one I'm gonna like nerd out the most about probably for this whole video but that's all right I also got uh so this is from the used bookstore I should probably do these in order oops here let's do New books first, then we'll get into what I got at the used bookstore. So, I got a book about sea shanties, um, because for anybody that knows me, I'm really into sea shanties. Uh, what I thought was funny, and I'm going to pretend this was a, you know, a stylistic choice, as opposed to God knows how long this book has been sitting, um, but the pages are all wavy as if they've been, you know, slightly water damaged, slightly damp. Um, we're going to pretend it's because it's a book about sea shanties um, instead of the more likely scenario, which is it's been sitting on a shelf for a while. It smells musty, but that's okay because it was eight bucks. Um, <laughs> I also got this book called I Should Be Writing. Um, it's a writer's workshop book. Uh, it looked interesting. It was on sale. And uh, it fits my life in general, I should be writing. Um, no, I, I thought it looked interesting. Um, I've seen some good stuff uh, about this book specifically. So finding it for sale, um, like on sale, uh, seemed like a good idea. And I don't know, I figured I'd pick it up. I don't actually own tons of books about writing, which I think is something I should probably rectify. So those are the books I bought at a bookstore. They are not used. And these are the books I bought used. I'm really excited about this. So I got another Sandman Slim novel called Kill City Blues. Um, I don't have this one. I haven't read it yet. 
Um, I've been really enjoying the Sandman Slim books so far, and as much as I'm a little disappointed, um, it's a hardcover. My other ones are paperback. I like my books to match. But that's okay because they're a good series and I mean I got it for like five bucks because it's used so I'll take that. I got uh, Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman's Good Omens. Um, I watched the TV show with my husband. We really enjoyed it. I haven't read the book and I've been wanting to and once again got it used. Very excited to read it. Um, it's probably going to be a little while before I finally get to it because my TBR list is growing by the day. All right, I also got Neil Gaiman's American Gods because I haven't read it yet. I uh, don't own the book and it was five dollars, so figured why not? Um, I enjoy his work, but this is one I have not read. Now we get into some of the nonfiction that I'm actually really excited about. Um, I got a couple cookbooks because I've been trying to branch out in my cooking and I, I mean, I ended up buying things that aren't super far from what I cook, but these are the ones that looked interesting. Um, all used. I got a book about pasta dishes. As you can see, I've already gone through and found the recipes that look most interesting to me. For example, uh, this spaghetti with ricotta cheese. Look at how fucking good that looks. That is dinner Thursday night. Um, cause meal planning, uh, saves money. Um, this, uh, stuffed cantaloni recipe just looks really good. Um, I'm not going to show you all of the things I marked, but I thought it would be fun to show some of them. Um, here, where is it? This pasta with green vegetables looks very nice. I'm a big fan of pasta and finding like slightly more creative things to do with pasta is always good. So like, look at that green vegetable. I want to eat that. All right. So that one's good. I got another Italian cooking book. This one I haven't even had a chance to go through yet because it's huge. Look at that. Um, I am very excited about it because it has like things about cutting fresh pasta and like it's it's very in-depth and I appreciate that. Um, one of the things I saw and I've like marked this page, um, the four cheese uh, ciabatta bread. I love ciabatta bread. I love cheese. This is like all my favorite things merged into one. Um, but yeah, so I got another cookbook once again, got it cheap because used bookstore. Um, there's some gems in there. Okay, this one's fun. Uh, it's a book of tapas and um, I've marked it already. I'm really excited. I got it really cheap because somebody ripped out the front page, um, as you can see. So the guy gave it to me for really cheap. He's like, are you sure you want to buy this? It's like, it's ripped. And I'm like, no, the rest of the book is fine. It's just that front page. I don't care. I'm in. A um, couple recipes that looked really good in it that I was really excited about. Sun-dried tomato and goat cheese tarts. I love, oops, wait, it's falling apart on me. I love goat cheese. Um, I love cooking with goat cheese. It's, it has such a great flavor to it. Um, so that's cool. Cheese and garlic dip with sun-dried tomato toast. I think you can probably see like a little bit of a pattern in the kind of food I wanna cook. Okay, so this chorizo bread pockets one. Um, I don't actually like sausage or like chorizo sausage, but my husband does. So I bookmarked this specifically for him because <laughs> I know he'll enjoy that. And last but not least for used books, and oh man, am I excited about this one. Do it yourself house building. It is a huge book that covers like everything. It says from the planning stages to the finishing touches, every step of house construction is covered from the foundation to the roof and everything in between. Uh, it was published in the late 90s, it looks like, but um, I mean, A, uh, a lot of things about home building, the actual principles haven't changed too much. And B, um, even if some things are a little outdated, uh, I think a lot of it will still hold up. It'll be really nice because my husband and I are building a house in the spring and I think this is going to be really useful for both of us, especially me. My husband built houses before I have done renos, but this like building the whole house is like a different thing. We're using a steel building kit so we technically only have to do the interior, but still I think a lot of it applies and there's things about how to build a porch because you better believe I'm building a porch. Um, yeah, it's a really cool book. It has like diagrams and pictures and like it's really in depth actually and I'm quite excited about that. And yeah, that uh, 
sums up the books I bought over the weekend. I thought it'd just be fun to share because I bought a very sort of uh, eclectic, I don't know if that's the word to use for that, but uh, you know, quite a few different kinds of books and I'm excited to show it because I feel like so many times, you know, so much emphasis is placed on uh, fiction, fictional works or like biographies. And I think sometimes it's also fun just to show like, okay, look, we got some cool recipe books, we got some cool kind of reference books, um, a random book about sea shanties, like that's fun. And yeah, so that's where I'm at. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, now I just want to do like a video all about sea shanties. That'd be fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.